Hi guys. Today I was going to do a um, box opening of a Smart Doll custom face-up that I was able to luckily get done, but um, she came with no eyes and I'd never put eyes in before. And so I decided I would get all of that ready and just kind of do a reveal. Um, so back in July, Magical Girl Kit Kat, she has a YouTube channel here, which is really fun to watch and see all of her smart dolls and all the things that she does. She does a lot of really cool collabs and really neat, um, just fun videos about wigs and clothes and, and kind of like cosplay costumes and stuff like that. But anyway, I follow her on Instagram too. And she wanted to do a charity thing where she gave back to the people, to the world, whatever. And she had, she um, does face ups for blank smart doll heads. And so she wanted donations. She had a set price or you could give more. And she wanted to be able to practice her face up techniques and be able to use the money that people paid for the face ups and give to charities. And I thought, first of all, what a great giving thing that she was doing. And second of all, how fun to be able to get a face up because I've kind of been interested in being able to get a custom face up because I had an idea in my mind of a kind of smart doll face that I would like. And it's not really one that's sold through um, smart doll. So anyway, so I got her head yesterday and um, I thought I'll do a box opening and then I thought, well, I better look into it because I had to buy eyes and all that. And I didn't know how hard that would be. I've watched a few videos and stuff, how to do it, but I didn't know how hard and how boring that would be. So I just thought I would do a reveal. So here she is. I'm going to take her wig off. Last night I just put this wig on her after I had put her eyes in. But I'm going to take her wig off to kind of show her. And then I'm going to put her on her body and they can put an outfit on her. So this is the head. It's a T Mirai head. Where's my camera? Um, I bought a head cap off of Smart Doll. And um, I think I have the whatever it is, the eye nesting thing too. I didn't really need them because the eyes that I got aren't like smart doll eyes technically but, but anyway so let's review her face so she's the Mariah head she's anime in T and here she is so she is a sad girl and I have wanted a sad um, smart doll for quite some time and I can't believe how well she's made it's just I mean it's it's I've seen other face-ups and they're a little like wobbly and stuff when you zoom in on them and I don't mind that at all because of course it's a face-up done by someone else but the work on my on this face is beautiful so she has like the normal Mirai um, I should have brought my other Mirai in and like the eyes and stuff the why can't I think? Like the shadow and stuff is kind of the same, but she has like these sad eyebrows and she has a little pouty mouth and then there's a couple little lines under her eyes that kind of bring out the sadness too. So she's really cute. I guess I should do it this way. So that is my sad girl face up done by Magical Girl Kit Kat and um, I'd highly recommend her <laughs> because this is a wonderful face up. I am beyond pleased, beyond happy with it. Um, the eyes that I got were these. I didn't know what I was looking for. These are follow me eyes. I was having such a hard time finding the kind of eyes that I'd want. I didn't know what I was buying, what I was looking for, but I found, um, doll moon on etsy and i got the ghostly eyes they're kind of wavy along the edges 
I don't know if it picks up very good. Um, they're, they're follow me eyes so that when I like look at her and I move her like, like this back and forth, the eyes look like they're following you. I didn't buy them because of that. I just bought them because they were, they were ghostly eyes and they're wavy around the, what is that? The irises? And I just thought for being a sad girl, it kind of was a cute theme with the eyes to be kind of wavy. So yeah, so they were the, the ghostly eyes, doll moon, um, follow me doll eyes anime. So I just bought those off Etsy and I put them in last night. They could, I think they're pretty good. I probably won't change them. It took a few tries to get them straight and, and how I wanted them to look so they didn't look like she looked really startled the first time I did it, and it was kind of funny because they looked really wide because I'd put them too low. But anyway, so she's a tea head, and so I have this tea body. I'm not going to tell you who I stole it from, <laughs> but I just thought we would get her dressed and try a wig on her too. So I'm going to put this little outfit on her. They're these cute slouchy overalls. They're made by Mommy Sewing, and this shirt also is by Mommy Sewing on Etsy. Oops, forgot I need to. I should take all the things off to get her dressed so it goes quicker. I was trying to find an outfit that, there's a wig that I have, I bought and I have not put it on anyone yet. And I've been really, I was excited about it when I bought it, but it just hasn't felt right to put on anyone yet. And I was kind of thinking if I should put it on, on her. I haven't named her yet either. Um, I was thinking about naming her Sorrow, <laughs> but then I thought that's kind of a depressing name. So I don't know if I'm going to name her that because I don't want her to be that sad. And she actually doesn't look that sad. But I was trying to find an outfit that I could try this wig on because I had a different outfit picked out. And then I thought, well, that doesn't really go the wig that I want to try on her. It would be mismatched looking. So I'm hoping that this, this little overall thing will be okay. Still don't know if the wig will look good, but... We'll try it. I bought a couple wigs. I haven't changed this body a whole lot of times. I mean, I have changed it, but I haven't moved the, the arms around. They're still kind of tight. So, this is a really cute outfit. And I even brought shoes. I brought these little blue denim converse looking high tops and this is the kind of shoe that most of my dolls are wearing I have almost a pair of different color pair of these shoes for nearly every doll just because I think they're cute I'm a tennis shoe person I think these look super cute on them with almost anything dresses or whatever and they're also inexpensive. I'm not sure who I bought them from. I think I've bought them from different, a couple, two or three different sellers on Etsy and maybe even on eBay. I'm not positive if I bought any off eBay since I started getting Smart Dolls, which has been, I think it's been about a year or almost a year now. When I got my first smart doll. Yeah, it was about a year because I remember when I got Cassie and I took pictures of her outside and the leaves had just changed. And so that's kind of what's going on right now. So here's our cute body and our adorable sad head, sad girl. This is the wig I put on her last night, but that's because that's the wig of the girl whose body I borrowed. <laughs> But here's the wig that I've been wanting to put on someone. 
And I know it's probably going to be um, kind of bigger. So that's okay. This was from Doll of a Kind. And I just think it's kind of a fun Halloween wig even. Though I didn't dress her in a Halloween outfit. I do have some Halloween outfits, but they're already being worn by everybody. But this isn't the Halloween wig. That's not why I bought it. I just thought it was cute because I liked the white and I thought the under, under color was fun too. So let's put this on her. And I thought with her purple eyes too. I have another wig with some color. The only thing is I don't want like a big wig that's going to be covering up um, her face up. That's not bad. I actually kind of like it. We should try this little wig. I already know what she looks like in the blonde, so I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to not make this video 20 minutes long and I'm failing. So I also have this wig. I love this wig too. It has lots of colors and it has the black. I'm pretty sure that a face up I need to be extra careful with and I need to remember that. Though it does seem like it's sealed really well. That one's not bad either. I kind of like the white one, but I don't know how well, like I was thinking it goes with the outfit. Plus, I felt like it was overbearing on her face. I might just keep this one on her. Cause I like how it goes back off her forehead. I moved my camera and so I'm used to it being closer to me. So let's just keep this one on her. Let's stick her head on the her body. That's not bad at all. I love her face. I'm so excited about this. And lately I've just been, I got my little, little clips and such, and I've just been, maybe we'll do this one. Got this little metal butterfly, and I've just kind of been lifting the corners of their hair and just putting a little clip in it, just for fun. So there she is. That is my new girl, my new little sad, sad-faced Mirai Sculpt. Again, she was custom painted by Magical Girl Kit Kat, and I am in love, and she did a beautiful job. And not only is she did a beautiful job, but her um, care and giving behind it makes it even more special of an experience so there she is and i hope you all have a wonderful day we will see you again soon